What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Chaos Metrics meeting. I almost said model, but it's not. It's metrics. And minutes are in the chat. This is my day with Don. Welcome back, Don. Hello. We've missed you, Don. We yeah. Ages. Ages. <laughs> oh, Lord. This happens every now and then where you just get a bunch in a row. So <laughs> Matt, you're ambidextrous? I am. No kidding. I didn't know that. That's you cool. write with both? No, so you don't I don't write with both, but I like throw with my left, I write with my right, I bowl with my left, I do frisbee with my right. Like I, I bat left, I would golf left if I golfed. So, you know, just all, all the things are just back and forth. So I don't know if that's considered ambidextrous. I, I don't know if ambidextrous means you have to do everything with both. I don't know. It feels like you have enough it's not just like one little thing. It's like a it nice thing. go back and forth. And it kind of makes no sense as to what, what it is. So if you watched me write with my left hand, it would be like all of you all writing with your left hand. <laughs> all right, right-handed. But I think there, what is, I don't, the percentage of left-handed people is. It's low. It's like three or something, isn't it? Really? I think it's pretty low. Yeah. I might be thinking of, of redheads. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it was in the like like 15% or 10% range. Yeah. Which is which is still pretty low. Left-handedness. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, I will start the recording. Did you play baseball, oh, yeah. Matt? I did. So I was say baseball. first baseman, because that's what left-handers are. Or pitchers. But I was gonna say there are a lot more a lot more left-handers in baseball than in other uh, segments of the population. Yeah, it's a so. it's like a it's a bonus in baseball to be left-handed. For those of you that didn't know that, <laughs> it's a bit of an advantage. Uh, all right, mm. I am I am recording already. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, I don't remember doing that, but. Welcome. Uh, so just a note, I think everybody probably knows this here, but we're renaming or looking to rename Bus Factor. There's a poll. So there's a, a link there to the issue 632 um, as to the discussion around renaming Bus Factor. And then following that, 634, just below there is a link to a poll that Don put together about just your thoughts on the new name that's going to be open till May 4th. So please take a second, read the read the uh, issue if you're interested, and do a vote if you're interested as well. Okay, that's that. So uh, I thought we could, like the metrics model meeting, you voted today. Good job. You have your sticker. No. Uh, I thought we could take a look at it repeat contributor today. This is one that's been there for a little while. It's also one that seems pretty important because it continues to come up a lot, but it sits in this kind of state. Um, so I did accept some of these changes and it, I can do that just to kind of get us back. So this was, we looked at this about a month ago, but we could still take a little bit of time to take a look at this. My impression of what this metric is about is we're trying to understand uh, a person's contributions beyond their first contribution. And so that second and third contribution that we continue to see them make contributions to the project. This was uh, originally named, I think, second contribution, but we decided, if you recall from the last conversation, that that was probably not uh, robust enough just because if somebody made a third contribution or fourth, we would also just kind of want to recognize that. Does anybody else remember anything 
that we talked about with respect to this? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna accept these. Some of these are indents and paragraphs. Stop sharing my screen. So if you could, it's in the minutes. If you could hop on over there, I'm gonna accept these changes. If you're not. So the uh, the occasional contributor metric has time as part of the definition. Uh, it's a, I think it's over a three month period. Mm -hmm. Do we want to include time as part of the definition in mm -hmm. repeat contributor? And if we don't, uh, can occasional contributors? Would occasional contributors be repeat contributors right. if they fall outside of that that time period? And do do we want it to be inclusive of occasional contributors? And keep in mind that occasional contributors was replacing the former kind of the, the drive by contributors, right? With the idea that people might come in, contribute something, and then leave and not contribute again, right? Right. So I understand what you're saying, and it made my like head go in circles because <laughs> like I understand how they're all connected, and I don't know how to sort it out. <laughs> That's why I said it rather than writing a bit of text <laughs> because uh, I was I was having trouble 
I was trying to, I was thinking, what, what kind of disclaimer could I put in here uh, in the yeah. description? And uh, it made my head go around in circles as well, so. Yeah, I wonder, that's a good question. So you all follow that, right? We have the occasional contributors, which is people who occasionally contribute. What is it, a three month window? Kevin, I don't, I didn't look, but whatever the time frame was. It is someone who hasn't submitted a pull request in at least three months and hasn't had more than 12 pull requests overall in the project. Is that that's the precise definition we reference in the occasional contributes metric. Gotcha. So they're doing basically one within a three month period, but no more than 12. So I think those would maybe not be repeat. 12 seems like a lot though. Like if, if somebody's done 12, I would think that would consider, that would count them as a repeat contributor. Like what, what yeah, I guess the, what we're trying to decide is like, where's the line between? Mm -hmm. Or is it is it like Kevin said, the time in between? And we do make the distinction in this one that we're working on now mm -hmm. that uh, related tasks can kind of be considered one contribution, even though there might be those related tasks could be four contributions, right? So, so that uh, that's another something else to think about. <laughs> And just toss it in the pile kind of thing. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Because they, I don't know how to separate it out in the definition, like right here. To me, they are different. Like an occasional contributor, somebody that's just kind of shows up every now and then. And this is trying to build people to stick around is what it feels like or somebody that is starting to show the inclinations of, of sticking around. I feel like to a degree, the intent is to kind of create an, the idea of an inclusive kind of core contributor, right? So, uh, so we're kind of replacing those ideas of core contributor versus drive-by contributor. Uh, but core contributor has some isn't as inclusive, right? I am kind of curious what Don thinks about this, if this is something you had thought about or you see a difference in. I mean, I think it's one It's one of those things that's it's kind of hard to define. Like, I do think that, yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm struggling with this one a little bit and I'm struggling a little bit to, to decide whether, I, I don't know. Sorry, I am I am struggling a little bit with this with this metric. But I think I think it makes sense to track it as a separate metric from occasional contributors, but the two do seem very tightly related. Um I mean, I wouldn't necessarily bound the repeat contributors to a time time bound the way you would occasional contributors, because the idea with occasional contributors is they are, they are people who contribute a couple of things and then they disappear typically. Um, the ones that continue to stick around then become regular contributors and then regular contributors eventually become core contributors if they stick around long enough and make enough significant contributions. So you typically think of contributors in those three buckets, the occasional, the regular, and the, the core. Um, I think repeat contributors is something a little bit different, but I'm struggling to define it in a different way that's not, that doesn't overlap too much with the occasional contributors. Elizabeth, do you want to talk a little bit about that orbit? Yeah, I was just going to uh, mention, we had talked about this a long time ago within the chaos project of how we move people along the pipeline. And these were some of, this was one model that we um considered which is we're exploring so participating to me feels like people who are those occasional contributors where they are participating but maybe not on a regular basis contrib contributing then would be the line um 
and they have they have definitions here that we could also incorporate um, in our own way with you know this is more general for communities but um like not specific to open source i don't think but it's the same kind of concepts Yeah, one thing I do like about the so the orbit model is completely different than how we've traditionally done done metrics. But what I really like about it is the fact that um, you know over time there's there's this like decay function that I think is is really uh, that to me is probably the most interesting thing about that model. Um, given I haven't looked at it in years, so I don't know if they've they've changed anything. But but I do find that interesting. But I, I'm not sure how we incorporate that into to our metrics but i so like the idea this metric the repeat contributor metric honestly this i think this came from something that sean uses with auger when he talks to people that you know it's basically a way of showing folks that it's like stickiness like people are sticking around mm -hmm. you know and he was doing that through this look into second contributions. And that's, it, and I think really at one point it was second contributions. <laughs> like it was, that's literally what he was looking at very precisely. That one person was making a second, a second contribution to a project, that's it. And he's like, that's a good sign if you can get somebody to make two contributions. And then I think we decided that that was too narrow of a focus, <laughs> which led us to this, which then maybe to Kevin's point, like pushed us into <laughs> this other world. And so part of it, you know, maybe just calling it second contributions again is actually the right thing to do. It's a metric. Like that's the metric is second contributions from a person. And that mm -hmm. could be, um, it could show up just as even if somebody's occasionally making contributions, but they've made two, that's a good thing. I'm just thinking out loud here. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you where this started and where it is kind of gone. I think the, I think the way we've been editing it, we've been moving it into, uh, the regular contributor. I think we're, we've, we've turned second contributor or second contribution into regular contributor. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's where I think that, that's what we've been doing as we've been adding it. So the, so. the yes. question is do we do we want to continue this as to to Dawn's point, uh there's there's those those there's those three buckets. Uh we've never defined core contributor. Uh we have defined occasional contributor. This could be regular contributor. And those like those that. three buckets do make sense to me. Yep. Uh yeah I like that. And, and second contribution is a way of understanding regular contributor, I suppose. They're, they're kind of moving into that. Yeah. I like that actually, because it does line up with existing words that are out there. And then it would tell us that we probably need to at some point make a core contributor metric just to round out the, the trio. So what is the difference between a core and a regular then? Probably it usually involves a, uh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I just said a leadership role would be my guess, but. I think it it also sometimes kind of is inclusive of like a ownership of a proportion of, or a proportion of the code base, right? Kind of thinking along the, uh, like the 80, 20 rule, right? Where 80% of the code contribution comes from 20% of the people or something like that. Yeah. Also access or permissions. Yeah, I tend to think of them as maintainers, um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how other people define that. So are the core, uh, core are the maintainers or the regular are the maintainers? Core. I typically think of core as maintainers. Okay. And the regular are, they don't have a uh, uh, like leadership role, but they regularly contribute. Okay. In in academic literature, you'll also see it to to be kind of the the percentage of code contributed, right? Yeah. Uh, so kind of so kind of related to bus factor or 
uh, the 80-20 rule, or there, there's another one uh, they call it, but. So that means if you are defining regular, we have to define core so that we avoid such ambiguity. Yeah, that's so that would we, that just put one on the list. So then we would have occasional, regular, and core. Cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think going back to that orbit model, that lines up very well. They call it uh, participating, contributing, and leading, but same kind of thing. And then the exploring is their farthest out level, which is just people who kind of passive observers. Okay, so let's, could we, I have, like I said, I have to drop off in seven minutes, but could we take a little bit of time and look at this metric again with the regular contributor lens on? I still see regular as being very different than like repeat or second contribution. Oh, I do too. I think we'd have to. I, I guess what I'm saying is I'm not sure we should abandon repeat contributor oh, or second contributor. Repeat, uh... So Don I think we need both is what I'm saying. So what would be the difference between repeat and regular in your mind? I I would not call it repeat. I would call it second contribution. Yes, I endorse that. So it'll be uh, second contribution and then regular contribution and then core contributor. Like second contributor, regular contributor, core contributor. Yeah. So that'll be that hierarchy that shows that, okay, second time, they first time came, tried it, they contributed it second time as a mechanism that Sean was is using. Then we have a regular who keeps on coming uh, at a different intervals, but they have been regulated. And then they are core who are like actually maintaining and driving the project. So occasional contributor would be like the first step? Yeah. Occasional, then second, then regular, then core. Is that what we're saying? Uh, no, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not no, hierarchical no. in that fashion because second, second contribution can inform occasional contributor. Yes. It can also inform regular contributor it's more a it's like a base level metric yes. that we could point to in our regular contributor or our occasional contributor uh, metric okay but i think this one that we're working on now Should is probably the regular contributor metric because we've we've moved it i think we've moved it further towards regular contributor. So I, I think we would need to create a second second time contributor metric after this. Because the, the description, I think, points closer to regular contributor than it does to second time contributor. So I don't know if that, I just dropped the conversion rate metric in there and that's related. I just wasn't sure if we wanted to try to keep our, the way we evaluate things. Cause there's, um, there's a, also language in this metric that speaks to the pathway and the way that people are bucketed. So sustained contributor in this in this definition, sustained contributors is probably the same thing as a regular contributor, right? Seems like it on my quick glance. I know I was thinking like, what's wrong with us? Why can't we just like <laughs> Why do we make more work for it wasn't ourselves? So hard. If it wasn't so hard, we would have done this already. No. Maybe, maybe we should take a step back and start with maybe creating kind of like a a hierarchical or kind of like an org chart model of how how these things might be related to each other. 
uh, and maybe that would help us with the to, with separation. Because there's there's overlap now. I think the problem is overlap, right? So I have kept all four in the meeting minutes so that we can reflect them. So I mean, if that's if if we agreed that regular contributor was kind of the same as sustained contributor that we were talking about here, and the one that the conversion rate metric. Yeah, I think I think repeat contributor, sustained contributor, and regular contributor are all the same thing. And second contribution, which which is what which is what we started at, <laughs> yes. uh, no longer exists because we we morphed so far away from it that uh that we probably just need to create it from scratch. <laughs> yes, we have it in the on the GitHub. We don't need to. Yeah, we'll have, we have we have it. We have the old history, so we can at least go back to that. Yes. Are there any other in this conversion rate metric? Are there any other, like we call it, you know, there's the word sustained contributors. Is there any other like blank contributors? So we can just search. New contributors, sustained contributors. Core contributors. We do we do mention core contributors in, in several of our metrics. Okay. Uh, but we but we haven't defined it ourselves. Yeah, I was just gonna say I wonder if we I wonder if we calculate it the same way in each one of the metrics. Probably sure. not. I'm sure we <laughs> just for ease of, I'm sure we were thinking of our future selves. <laughs> yeah, because the way Grimar Labs does it, and you can see this in the conversion rate metric. Is that core is those contributing eighty percent? Regular is those contributing the next fifteen, and casual are those contributing the last five percent. That's how they've defined it. Right. I don't know that, I agree with that, but yeah, that would be different because, like, even five percent, you could be showing up. I'm like, I don't know how the percentages are calculated, but you could be showing up weekly and still only making five percent of the contributions. Well, and that's a collection of, yeah, collection of the people who are making the 5%. All right, well, I'm going to let you all sort this out because I got a meeting. So <laughs> I just made Elizabeth co-host. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I was just going to say that I think that our regular is more about activity or uh, cadence than, than the, the impact that they leave on the on the code base. Gosh, she is so loud today. Oh my, can you hear that? I can't yes. actually hear that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I agree. For her. It's adorable, it's adorable, uh, fine. Yeah, I agree. I think the regular contributor is really about the activity. I think core contributor is activity plus impact when we go to look at that and that that impact could be measured as leadership and it could also be measured as kind of the uh, kind of ownership of code right think think of it as ownership of code but or con or or ownership of contributions right so I've captured all these points in the minutes so that if we want to create these new metrics, then we can have those points. But just to let you know, if we do try to create a core contributor metric, uh, the folks over in the renaming uh, bus factor don't like core, uh, nor do they like key. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, I think, I think that is... So try to, to I am interpreting that as specific to the bus factor that they would prefer to call that lottery factor than to but call it was it. A, but it was about core contributors or key contributors leaving, right? And they don't they don't like either of those terms as core contributors or key contributors. 
uh, yeah. because it uh, I think the I think the statement was that it has a value judgment uh, which is which is if we're talking about impact that value judgment is probably necessary but mm -hmm. but just a, a heads up that that might be a discussion that comes up in the future if we if we try to name it core key mm. That's the thing with naming. No matter what you name it, no one ever there's there's no name that everyone will be happy with. I mean, even like like Google, when they first came out with the Google search engine, people thought that was a ridiculous name. The iPad, people thought that was a terrible name. You look at back at all these things that when they first came out, everybody was like, I hate it. The name's terrible. And then you just get used to it and then you don't think about it anymore. Naming, Unless it's something like the bus factor, which has a very visceral like reaction. And both naming and defining things, both of those things are hard. Yeah. So, and unfortunately, that's what we do. <laughs> I hate naming things. It's one of my least favorite things to do. So what do we want to do for next steps? Just think about it a little more, ponder, marinate. Uh, I would propose that we take this one as it is and try to turn it into regular or sustained mm -hmm. contributor and continue the discussion around this one uh, in that direction. And then we, we go back to uh, Sean's original second contributions which actually which actually focus on focuses on measuring the the contribution rather than the contributor and uh and move that one forward maybe maybe almost almost exactly the way Sean had it originally before before we all messed it up so Right now, the way it is structured, and if I read this one, the way, Kevin, you have pointed out the occasional, I feel they are like same thing and merging together. We have to reword them so that to bring the distinction between two. Yeah, yeah, we need to, yeah, we need to edit this one so that it goes all in on either regular or sustaining contributor. Yeah. Even even if you look at the visualization, it's the same visualization in this metric and in the occasional contributor. Oh, is it? And I would go regular yes. rather than it is same. Thing. It's just a new re repo which is showing a different. If you look at the, I pasted the link. If you look at the occasional contributor visualization, which is for the uh, working common working group, and this is for uh, some other repo. That's the only change is it's a change of repo. The image is seen. The wordings, everything, X's, visuals, everything is seen. It's just a different repo. I prefer I prefer regular as well. I, uh, I think sus sustainability or sustaining is a uh, a bit of a lightning word. It means can mean different things to different people. So uh, I would avoid sustainability or sustaining if possible. And I just put a note in too. If we do if we do change this to regular, uh, we should edit the conversion rate metric to uh, reflect the name change or that or to, to basically point it at this metric. Yeah, because that one was more about impact, I feel like, but also could include that this definition of what you're trying to convert. Yeah, the, the question now is what are what are the rates at which new contributors become more sustained contributors? Uh, we change it to what are the rates at which new contributors become regular contributors? I got you, I got you.
Yeah, I think we need to just think about it and come come back to it. Agreed. I might uh I might take an action item to maybe take the four or five metrics we've discussed here and put them all on one page <laughs> so we can kind of look at the differences between them and figure out what the boundaries are. That'd be great. Uh, yeah, I think that would be helpful. So I'm that way we're not having to jump back notes. and forth. And... I'm guessing we don't want to really talk about renaming the sponsorship metric right now, <laughs> which is the next item technically on our agenda, but. I like the idea of renaming it to contributor sponsorship. Me too, actually. Just to avoid the confusion with dollar sponsorships. Yeah, plus one here as well. Yeah. Okay, quick, make that change before anyone changes their mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're on mute, Elizabeth. I can see your lips moving. Yeah. Um, I think the only, well, I was going to say the only place to make that change is in the metric itself, but we may be referencing it in other places. So check for other answers to this metric. I can take that action item, although it won't get and done. It might be good. It might, since there's only four of us in this meeting, it might be good to uh, open the pull request and leave it open for a little bit and give people time to comment that That's way fair. that way people have an opportunity to object or provide us with some things we didn't think about we should be we should be fine on the website elizabeth but if you do need me to add a redirect uh let me know okay <laughs> And that's not going to get done until after OSSNA, so yeah. I don't want to think about my to-do list after OSSNA because the number of times I have said those exact words <laughs> this week. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't want to think about all the stuff that I have promised people after OSSNA. Yeah, it's like get in line. <laughs> <laughs> Up in the queue. Uh, the okay. only other thing on our agenda is <laughs> to revise that committers metric. But not, I don't think you're in metrics models, but that metric is hilarious because it was one of the early ones that has like SQL code in there and everything, like exactly how you would pull this. Yeah. So um, we need to revise it, but I don't want to do that today. I don't know about y'all. We only have nine minutes anyway. So it's just like on the list eventually. We just need to update that metric. This seems to be the oldest metric we have. All right, so I think that's it. I think we should end the meeting. <laughs> just going to put my vote out there to end. And give us nine minutes back. Yep, agreed. Yeah. Awesome. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm going to take an action item to take a look at that committers metric, uh, but but it will be a few weeks out before that happens. Cool. So, thank you. Yeah, fair enough. I think I was I think I was there when it was originally done. So I'll just peek back at it. Yeah, it needs some sprucing up. So, all right. Well, have a good one, everybody. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, Bye. everybody.